Hey all, welcome to Shatrek. This is Raj here. First off, I would like to welcome Howard Dew to Patreon. Welcome Howard and a big thanks from me and all of our viewers uh, who look for HIV programming. Your support is helping make these videos and uh, a big thanks is due to you. Uh, now we have three Patreons with uh, Inf, Jason and Howard and we are looking for 47 more. I know that the times are tough for many, but I'm sure that among our thousands of viewers, we can surely find 47. We need some from India as well, and I hope some join soon. Uh, there is a choice of Patreon as well as buy me a coffee, and the links are in the description below. And that said, uh, let's get into the topic for today, which is going to be uh, around uh, Immunocore and their IMC M113V therapy for HIV. So let's get started. Welcome back, friends. Immunocore is a biotechnology company based in Oxford that develops immunotherapies based on T-cell receptors or TCRs. T-cell re receptors are molecules that recognize and bind to specific antigens on the surface of cells. Uh, Immunocore uh, designs TCRs that can target antigens uh, associated with diseases such as cancer, infectious disease, and autoimmune disorders. Immunocore's HIV therapy is called IMC, Dash M113V. It's a bispecific module that contains two TCRs linked together. One TCR recognizes the HIV gag antigen, uh, which is a protein produced by the virus. The other uh, TCR recognizes a CD3 antigen, which is a marker of immune T cells. Uh, by binding both antigens, uh, IMC M113V can redirect immune T cells to kill any HIV infected cells, even when the HIV levels are very low, as is often the case with uh, HIV, uh, which are in the reservoir cells. So uh, this is a very uh, interesting development, and it's in an early stage, but I thought I would bring it across to you. Uh, this is not happening in the US. I mean, the, uh, the program is uh, continuing in Europe, uh, especially in UK. But I thought, uh, let's have a quick look at this, because if this succeeds, it's going to be good news for most people across the world. At this stage, you must be wondering, uh, what is a bispecific? So let me provide you a, ble a brief explanation. A bispecific molecule, also known as bispecific antibody or bispecific T-cell engager, is a type of artificial protein designed to recognize and bind to two different targets simultaneously. Bispecifics can be used in a variety of ways, such as to redirect immune cells, to attack cancer cells, or to simultaneously block two different signaling pathways involved in disease. They can be designed to target different types of cell, such as T cells and tumor cells, or different molecules, such as two different receptors on the same cell. If you had seen our earlier um, uh, introduction to human immune system, you would know all about receptors and antigens and how they attract each other. So this bispecific has got the capability of binding to two different targets and bringing them close together in proximity and then setting them off against each other or to block a circuit. So this is the advantage of bispecific. Bispecifics are uh, typically engineered by combining two monoclonal antibodies or antibody fragments into a single molecule using genetic engineering techniques. The resulting molecule has two distinct binding sites, each with its uh, own specificity and affinity for a different target. The ability of bispecifics to simultaneously engage two different targets has led to their development as promising therapeutics for a range of diseases, particularly in cancer. Uh, they offer several advantages over traditional monoclonal antibodies, such as increased potency and selectivity, and the ability to engage the immune system to destroy cancer cells. That said, let us have a quick look at some key milestones for uh, immunocores HIV therapy, which is what we are basically in interested in. The question always is, uh, is it uh, in clinical trials? Uh, how efficient is it? How safe is it? When is it going to be approved? We're going to try to find an answer to some of these questions. So I'd like to show you a chart while I'm walking you through it. Here we are uh, in the slide that I wanted to show you. And you can see that in 2016, Immunocore published uh, preclinical data showing that IMC M113V, the, the, the therapy that we are talking about, could eliminate HIV-infected CD4 T cells taken from individuals treated with antiretroviral therapy, that is ART1. In 2022, 
they went on uh, to announce dosing of first patients with uh, first patient with IMC M113V in a phase one clinical trial. And uh, the trial aims to evaluate uh, the safety, tolerability, and pharmaco pharmacokinetics of IMC M113V in people living with HIV who are on ART. So they did that in uh, 2022. In 2023, which is this year, Immunocore announced initial phase one safety and pharmacodynamic activity data with IMC M113V34. So the uh, trials that they started in 2022 have produced data, which is now being produced in 2023. The data showed that IMC M113V was well tolerated. Safety is always the main target of phase one clinical trials, so it succeeded out there. And it also showed that it induced a dose-dependent reduction of HIV-infected CD4 plus T cells in peripheral blood. So that's another positive. So that's what we have in terms of the milestones completed by uh, Immunocore's goal is to achieve sustained control of HIV after patients stop ART without the risk of virological relapse or onward transmission. Uh, this is also known as functional cure. So, so far, everything that we have seen from uh, American Gene Technologies, AGT-103 is a functional cure. I think excision is potentially a sterilizing cure, and the Tel Aviv vaccine is potentially a sterilizing cure, but we don't have much information about it. Immunocore's uh, HIV therapy is under undergoing trials in different locations around the world. The phase one clinical trial of IMC M113V is being conducted at sites in the UK, France, and Spain. That's where it was conducted. And uh, the trial was supported by Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. We now have the results. And Immunocore is also collaborating with other institutions to test its HIV therapy in different settings. For example, Immunocore has partnered with University of Oxford to conduct a phase one of two, uh, a clinical trial of IMC M113V in combination with a HIV vaccine called MVA HIV cons V32. This trial aims to evaluate the safety and efficacy of this combination approach in people living with HIV who are on ART. Additionally, Immunocore has joined forces with the Fred Hutchison Cancer Research Center to explore the potential of its HIV therapy for curing HIV infections. This collaboration will use uh, Immunocore's IMMTAV platform to target different antigens on HIV-infected cells and test their ability to eliminate them. Immunocore's collaboration with the University of Oxford involves a phase one of two a clinical trial of IMC M113V in combination with a HIV vaccine called MVA dot HIV conserve 3. Uh, this trial is led by Professor Thomas Hanke from uh, Gen Jenner Institute of Oxford and aims to enroll 36 people living with HIV who are on ART. Now, the name of Professor Thomas Hanke, I might have mispronounced because the Thomas is T-O-M-A-S with some special accents on top of A and S. So it could be Tomas or Tomas, uh, but uh, I please forgive me if I have pronounced it wrong. But uh, that's the professor uh, from Jenner Institute at Oxford uh, who is uh, leading this. And it aims to enroll 36 uh, people living with HIV who are on ART. The trial will evaluate the safety and efficacy of the combination approach in reducing the size of HIV reservoir and inducing durable control of HIV infection without ART. Immunocore's collaboration with the Fred Hutchison Cancer Research Center involves exploring the potential of its HIV therapy for uh, curing HIV infection. Uh, this collaboration is led by Dr. Horst Peter Kaim, uh, a, a stem cell transplant researcher at Fred Hutch, and La Dr. Lawrence Corey, an internationally renowned virologist and president emeritus of Fred Hutch. The collaboration will use Immunocore's uh, IAM, sorry, IMM, TAV platform to target different antigens on HIV infected cells and test their ability to eliminate them in preclinical models and clinical trials. Immunocore's collaboration with Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation involves supporting the development of its HIV therapy, IMC-M113V. The foundation has invested 40 million in Immunocore to accelerate the development of its IMTAV and IMTAB technology for treatment of infectious diseases, including HIV. And the agreement also ensures that any resulting HIV product that receives necessary regulatory approval is made available to people in developing countries as an affordable uh, an affordable price. 
I will keep track of this company and bring updates to you as and when they arise. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this update. Friends, you might feel that this was a bit of a heavy um, a session, but I have tried to pack in more value into this uh, because now we are addressing uh, the Patreon group who are very serious uh, about the information on this disease. And uh, rest assured that I'm going to drill down into each of the aspects of the collaborations as well as into more of the each of the therapies that uh, Immunocore is uh, working on with each of these partners. So there will be many more videos videos in which we'll drill down and hopefully in the next two months we'll be well versed with what Immunocore does. And once again I would like to thank uh, all the three of you, uh, Inf, Jason and Howard, uh, for joining me in uh, Patreon and it's no longer lonely in Patreon and uh, I'm very hopeful that I'd be able to continue doing this uh, work of bringing HIV um, therapy information to you. I'm also going to make a few more promos to encourage more people uh, to join the Patreon so that we can achieve our target of 50 uh, Patreons. Thanks and have a great day and uh, I'm always grateful to the three of you. Bye for now.